Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. And I gotta give a big shout out to my buddy Mike, aka Firetox, for finding Soundwave for me at his local Target. As you guys know, I have no Target anywhere near me. Mike sent me a message via Facebook saying, hey, I just found some sound waves. Do you want one? I'm like, hell yes. And now I have him in my possession. So Mike, thank you so much. Guys, don't forget to check out Mike's channel, Fire Talks. He does some great 3D printed accessories for your bots. And I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description of this video. So now taking a quick look at Soundwave here in the packaging. You got Soundwave in robot mode right there. Soundwave in robot mode with some fantastic Kingdom artwork. It looks like he's ejecting Laserbeak in cassette mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. On the back of the packaging, we've got Soundwave in robot mode. In recorder mode, once again, ejecting Laserbeak. So now, let's get Soundwave opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Soundwave all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But you really don't need these because if you've ever owned a G1 Soundwave, you're going to know how to transform this guy. Soundwave also comes with his shoulder-mounted rocket pod, and if you check it out, there is paint applications on the tips of the rockets. That is awesome for a core class, legends class figure. And you can peg this in right there above his right shoulder. So we got that in there and he comes with his concussion blaster that has the painted chrome tip and the little red line right around there. It is hollow looking, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's a core class. Go ahead and put that in his right hand and now you have Soundwave all armed and ready for battle. But wait, there's more. Hidden within Soundwave's chest, and this kind of surprised me. I saw it on the packaging. I saw it on the, you know, on the adverts for the figure, but I was kind of worried when I opened the packaging up. I didn't find Laserbeak. Laserbeak is stored within Soundwave's chest. Now this is a non-transforming cassette, but look at the details and paint applications on this. This looks great. Now the back is plain black, but the front looks awesome and actually looks like a cassette and looks like a folded up laser beak. That is sweet. And it slides right there on his chest compartment and just simply fold that back in. And I like the fact the chest compartment is tinted black. So it's not clear like the larger versions of this figure. Now, taking a closer look at Soundwave himself, this guy looks amazing 
for a core class figure. This looks like one of those third party legends figures with the amount of sculpted detail and paint applications. Look at the head sculpt. Look at the paint job. I mean, this guy looks phenomenal, especially for a $10 figure. I know I keep saying that, but wow. You've got the gold right here, the outline of the tape deck chest, the little line right there. You've got the Decepticon logo, the detailing up here on the shoulders, the buttons on the belt, moving on down to the legs. I mean, the details is just amazing. Let's see, the back of the figure, he even has the molded in battery compartment. And look at all the molded details on the back. I just, I can't get over this. This is an awesome sound wave. Now let's go into articulation. Articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it can look up and down. It can do a complete 360. The arms are on a ball joint as well. You got a complete 360 here, but this one, my left arm is super tight. So I'll sh actually both shoulders really, really tight. But if you look, that is a ball joint. So you can bring the arms up and down. There is a ball joint here at the elbow. So here, there is a bicep swivel and a bicep bend. No wrist articulation and no waist articulation. Legs out, in, forward, slightly. It doesn't go farther than this right here because you got this little panel here and here, but there is some movement. There is an upper thigh rotation. There is a knee bend and let's see, there is no ankle tilt, but the feet are on a ball joint. So you can rotate them around slightly. So lots of articulation for this little figure. So now let's get him transformed into cassette recorder mode. So we'll go ahead and remove the weapons. And like I said, if you've ever owned a G1 Soundwave, you're gonna know how to transform this guy. Do a 180 with the head and fold that right there along his back. You're gonna take the fists, fold the fist in, and just bring the shoulders back, which will, of course, bring the entire arm back along the back of the figure. Now you're gonna take the feet, fold the feet back, bring the legs out, make sure the silver part right here is facing down, and let's see, actually it's gonna face up, I'm sorry. You got these little slots right here, they're gonna line up to this peg, bring this up, peg that into place, bring this up here, peg this one into place, and there you go. There is Soundwave's micro cassette recorder mode. Now for the weapons, you got little peg, peg holes right here on the back, and this is where you'll peg the weapons. We'll go ahead and peg in the rocket launcher. Now these peg holes are tight. So let me try on this side. And plus with the shoulders being so tight, it's hard to get the arms perfectly flush. So peg this one in here, that one in, no problem. Let me turn this one around like so. Find the concussion blaster. And there you go, you've got the weapons pegged in just like that. And there is Soundwave's micro cassette recorder mode. And once again, it looks really good and really G1. I just wish the feet could have folded down a little flatter because he does have those toes pointed straight up. Now, of course, there's really not much to say about Soundwave's tape deck mode because it's a rectangle, but still looks really good. You've got the molded in speakers here on top, the buttons, of course, there at the bottom, and you've got the door to the cassette deck right there with laser beak. So I love this toy, except the fact I can't get laser beak back in there. There we go. This is just a great sound wave figure for only $10. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave with Generation 1 Soundwave, Netflix Soundwave with Laserbeak, and War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. 
The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave is an amazing toy. It's not often that I am blown away by a Legends Class or Core Class mainline Transformer, but by God, this Soundwave toy is awesome and such a great throwback to the original Generation 1 figure. Hasbro definitely outdid themselves with this one, and I couldn't be happier. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Soundwave belong in your collection? What do you think? Absolutely. This little figure is fantastic. I love this guy. I'm just, I am totally amazed with the quality of this figure. Now, I didn't mention in the video, the plastic quality feels really good too. This is top notch from Hasbro and I couldn't be happier. Now, also in the video I didn't show, you can push the rocket launcher all the way in. Mine is really tight and the shoulders are just scary tight, but I think the more I mess with them, I may loosen them up. But man, this, this figure is amazing. And for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. So yes, you see this figure on the shelf, pick him up without hesitation. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I'm getting closer and closer to my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!